This is a problem of finding maximum area of a triangle in an ellipse. The ellipse is given here. Ellipse is given. And a point A is given. 0, 2. This is the diagram. The ellipse is given. Point A is here. And the triangle is an isosceles triangle. A, B, A, B, C. Point B is not given. Let's say the coordinates of point B are A and B. Find the maximum area of an isosceles triangle, triangle ABC. A, B, C. Let B be A, B. The solution of this problem, the following work, the following solution is provided by Claire Lee. Thank you, Claire. So let's start. We can solve the problem using implicit differentiation. B, we give coordinates A, B. B lies on the ellipse. Therefore, A, B satisfy the equation of the ellipse. So this is the result. What is the area? Area is one half base times A. What is one half base? This is the base. Because we give x coordinate of b a, this is the x coordinate. So a means this. So half of the base is just A. What is the height? This is the height. Since the coordinates of A is given 0, 2, therefore this is 2. But this is B, right? This is B. B is a Y coordinate. This is B. Therefore the height is 2 plus B. That's why the area is A times bracket A, bracket 2 plus B. So this is the area. A is half of the base, and the height is B plus 2. Multiply this equation by the common denominator, 36, we get this. Call this equation 1. Remember, from this equation, you see that if you are given A, you can find B. That means B is a function of A. Because B is a function of A, I can do the derivative of this equation consider b as a function of a, and this is called implicit differentiation. So let's do implicit differentiation. Do the derivative of equation 1 with respect to a, 
and then I get this. Isolate dB by dA, I get this. Go to the area. Area is this. Do the derivative of area with respect to the variable a. Remember, b is a function of a. So a is the variable. Do the derivative of area with respect to a. I want maximum area, therefore the derivative has to be equal to zero. So let's do the derivative using product rule. This is a product, so we do that and isolate db by dA. Uh, no, sorry. dA, the area by dA is this. But dB by dA is already worked out, is this fraction. Substitute this fraction into dB by dA, I get this. Simplify, and the derivative has to be zero because I want maximum A. So once I have this, the derivative equal to zero, I have this. Rearrange, I have this. Multiply this by the denominator 9b, I get this. b times 9b is 9b squared. 2 times 9b is 18b. Using equation 1, I have this. This is from equation 1. I substitute 4a square into here. I get this. Now, everything is in b. So I can solve for b. Simplify this relation. I get this. Factor this quadratic relation, I get this, and then b is equal to 1 or negative 2, but I don't want negative answer, so I just pick b equals 1. Once I have b equals 1, I substitute into equation 1, then I can get a. So I have 4a squared equals 27, solve for a, I get the answer for A, which is this. Again, the negative answer for A is rejected. Once I have A, and I already have B, so I substitute A and B into the area formula, I get the maximum area. So that's how I do this problem. And this solution is provided by Claire Lee. Thank you, Claire. Thank you very much. That's the end of this problem. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.